Hello and welcome to the channel. Stop the press, or stop the presses. We're getting uh, the thing reboot. Oh wow, this sounds like major news, doesn't it? Everyone's reporting on it as if it's news. It's, it's not news. Uh, this is not new at all. I heard this news and I saw this over on Twitter last night. And I thought to myself, remember that? I remember doing a video on this. Um, and yeah, I was right. Back in January, ladies and gents, the thing was in the works already uh, Universal and Blumhouse. But it was based on, very specifically, an unearthed original novel. So, I this isn't new, but it may be taking a new direction, but I doubt it. So, what's being reported now as news? Well, look, John Carpenter was, he was having a discussion, basically. He was having a chit-chat, an interview with someone. Um, and they said, you know, what else have you got on the in development? You know, you got something new uh, in development. What's going on? This was at Fantasia. And he said, I have. I don't know about that. But we've talked about, I think he's going to be working on the thing. Rebooting the thing. I'm involved with that. Maybe down the road. And then everyone was like, oh my god, it's confirmed. Um, unfortunately, the legendary filmmaker did not specify whether this will be a prequel or sequel, but Kurt Russell returning to star in whatever form this reboot takes would surely be appreciated by fans. Everyone's just running with this. Can I use the term fake news? This, this, this has been happening for a while. Now, what happened in January? Okay, so in January... This, this was all in January. The main gist of this news is that Universal and Blumhouse are teaming up to fast track a new version of the thing. But hold on, because things get kind of complicated, right? Here we go. The thing is undoubtedly a horror classic, uh, and if you've you know if you've actually seen it, shame on you. If you haven't, blah blah blah. Hypothetical person. You know at least one of the practical nightmares conjured up by the master, the chest chomp, come on, etc, etc. But it turns out that neither the Thing nor its 1951 predecessor, the Thing from Another World, were technically the full version of the story that it was based on, which is why John W. Campbell Jr., who wrote the novella both films were based on Who Goes There? Uh, and that full version or full vision would, in fact, be Frozen Hell. This is a new thing which was unearthed recently. Uh, the novel length version of Who Goes There? That was only unearthed in 2018 and Universal and Blumhouse reportedly plan to adapt that into a feature film. So I don't know where... I don't know where John Carpenter's involved in this. I don't see him being involved specifically but I would imagine they want him attached as a name because by the looks of it, it's got nothing to do with him because this this predates what's been mentioned now. And John Carpenter's stuff is so vague. His comments here are so incredibly vague. Oh yeah, he's working on rebooting the thing and I'm involved with that maybe. Not I'm confirmed and I, it's happening. Uh, but uh, shame on everyone reporting on this as if it's brand new news. Shame on them, because it's not. It's not at all. Uh, so this, according to producer Alan Dons, who reportedly wrote on Facebook, it's official. I received my signed contract and first check. I am executive producing a remake of The Thing, but with additional chapters of John Campbell's groundbreaking novel, Frozen Hell that had been lost for decades. Now, for the first time ever, Campbell's full vision will be realized on the big screen. The new film will include the very best of RKO's The Thing From Another World, John Carpenter's classic The Thing, and both books Frozen Hell and Who Goes There. So it's, it's a culmination of everything, you know? So John Carpenter is involved in some respects and they may get him as a name and they may get him to do some music, although he I rarely does music anymore either now, it's a lot of it's his son. Um, John Beaton Court, who created the Kickstarter to release Frozen Hell, later expanded on Don's announcement by saying, the movie will be from Universal and Blumhouse, everyone is super excited about it and it's being fast-tracked. Uh, and then of course, you know, bloody disgusting chimed in and said their bit as well. So, 
shame on anyone saying that this is brand new news. Shame on anyone. Because it's not. And do, like some journalistic integrity matters. Um, yeah. But basically, again, the, the phrasing of this. Director of the 1982 horror classic, John Carpenter, confirmed during a panel at 2020 Fantasia International Film Festival in Montreal that he's developing a reboot with Blumhouse Productions. No, he didn't. I'm involved with that, maybe. <laughs> Down the road. I mean, he's not involved. No. Who is it? Who? Last we heard, who was definitely involved in it um, is Alan Dons. This is not confirmation. At all. So, look. I still think this is all good news. But I don't understand what... Why, one, people are saying this is new. Because it's not. This has been since January. But I guess people, uh, you know, just want to get them clicks out. Um, if this is something new now, then, hey, interesting, I guess. I don't know whether Variety listed anything else saying about the Alan Dons one. Uh, the project is still in the early stages and no other details have been hammered out. No. Literally nothing. Um... No? Okay. So, it doesn't look like even they've mentioned it. Carpenter declined to reveal whether the project would be a prequel, sequel, or remake. Okay. Interesting. Maybe th maybe this one's dead in the water then. Doubt it. Or maybe they got the rights and then John Carpenter's going to expand on it and then deal with Frozen Hell rights as well. Who knows? But hey, what do you guys think? I still think this is good news, right? In in any respect, right, of all of this, the original news that dropped I thought was good news anyway because they're developing everything. There's so much that they're developing there. And if you package all of that correctly, because look, all, it's like a cake, isn't it? All the ingredients are there, but you're not going to want to scramble the eggs first before you put them in a cake. So all the, all the ingredients are there if packaged appropriately to make a really good film um, every single adaptation is there that can make this something very special and wholesome and delicious but it's dependent on how they package it um, if it's just John Carpenter yeah fine I guess um, at Halloween those movies haven't proven to me because he wasn't really involved in them that much but they've not proven to me that his involvement in films are going to be what seals, um, you know, future classics. I, I don't think anyone can look at Halloween 2018, that movie, and say that's a future classic. I'd, I'd be very surprised, but whatever. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Again, just be careful we get your news from, guys, because, again, this isn't new. This was back in January. So I'm, I'm still really shocked that no one's bothered to mention that. But never mind. Uh, as always, guys, I've missed age. Take care.